glasses? Where's your, where's your safety glasses? Where's your face mask? Uh -huh. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. You know that? Uh, what did you say? You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. Oh. <laughs> I didn't get that. What? Is that a new quote for you? Yes. That's a 18th century quote. I think that is. I'm going to knock him on you. Huh? I said I'm going to knock him on Well, we just had a, another uh, explosion up here. It's And it shouldn't be this hot up here. It's 72 outside. Most of this is from the hose. But somebody turned the air on and got, left it on uh, um, automatic instead of high. So we started up here and it's warm. But we just had to open up the, the vent again because... The filter inside the shop vac as we was trying to clean up it uh yeah it got pretty uh hazy and white in here again yeah we had deja vu just like when we decided we were going to cut drywall with a uh what's it called circular, circular, circular saw. saw yeah yeah don't do that guys well i went down and got my my spray foam to seal this, some of these cracks up in here in the rock climbing wall. So then I quick sealed the, the drain pipes for the tanks that were going down through the floor, uh, sealed them off real quick. And they was going to use brake cleaner to clean out the tube and everything because I didn't use the whole can. So I told Connor, I said, this will be a story time of pop. So a pet peeve of mine, you know, you bought, you can get these Jumbo spray cans of stuff. They say, oh, 20% more, 30% more, same price. Oh, great. So you buy the big can. Every time I get a big can of brake cleaner or anything else, the propellant runs out long before the product in the can. So now I got that nice big can of uh, brake cleaner down there. And it feels like there's still about three or four inches of liquid in there and no more propellant. So that's how they, they just rip you off. You think, you, you think you're getting more for your money and you end up getting less and you gotta go buy and buy another record can. I'm gonna buy big cans no more. No more jumbo cans for me. I'd rather buy two smaller cans and get all the product out of it. Cause they, they give you more product, but the same amount of, you know, just irritating is all. All right, after a few days break, we're going to get back on here. One more coat on the top of these walls. And did you bring up a good? Did you bring up a rag? Maybe a one more little bit down through here. Did you what? Bring up a rag for a What? It's in the bucket. Should be. Oh, no, they're hanging on the hose wheel. I'll be making He's young and dumb. He can handle it. What? What? <laughs> oh, I get all. We got all the dust out of here. That dust is. Hmm. One more coat on this here, and then the ceiling getting textured. This uh, bulkhead. It's all done. At least as done as I'm going to get it. A little sand in there to do. We'll have to get that. We might need to put a little bit more there. That little hole there. Not bad. It's only the first coat since the have seen them. So it'll come along. It'll look good. I want to show you some some tricks. See, like in these corners. Yeah. I just did that one. Right. Yeah. See, see all this rough stuff here. You take your old screen. Put your finger on there. 
and run it down in the corner a little bit. See, it takes all that roughness out of there. So I'll have to hit a little bad spot there. And I'll have to touch that up and this up. So we'll have a little touching up to do. Uh, I gotta hit this whole thing again, of course, because that's that big pump there. I gotta blend this in some more. I don't know anybody that loves dry. Well, I guess people that make a living at it love it. I don't. More that beard hair. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of out of the <laughs> See, this is actually, when you're fine tuning, this is the way to do it. Because, see, you get. See like that there, where you don't want to really hurt this. You just hardly put any pressure on it. And then go in a circular motion. And you won't cut through the paper, but you'll smooth that out so you don't see it when you paint over it. This here, oh, I'll clean this up, this will have to hit again. So I just bring whatever you're going to do. What you say you're going to sand? I already sanded it. Oh, you sanded that. All right. All right. Didn't realize how much that ran up a little bit. But yeah, to, well, we had to go by that ductwork. You know? Yeah. It's not that new. It'll be all right. See that? You see these ridges in there like that? Just go in there and get with these corners of these smooth each time. That way when you put the next little layer on there, it's not going to just get worse and worse and worse. I guess that helps in football, especially when they're when they're overthrowing it or above your head. Yep. I actually like doing that when they go over my head and I have to jump up and catch them. I I find that. Fun. I can hide a multitude of things standing there like this. You know, they advertise that as uh, low dust, but man, I ain't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. If that's low dust, what in the world is the bad dust? Yeah, what's the high dust? There's a lot of dust coming down on there. She just left. That's a pretty good hump there, boy. 
It's not clear right now, but it's going to be there. It's here. And I got a little bit of skin coat over there. That's what it's in. Got hit there. I don't know what it is. It's smooth across here, though. I feel like there's no hump there. Any sanding scratches that you leave in there, when you hit it with that paint, it'll be the only thing anybody sees when they walk up the hallway. Ooh, man, that's nice. Listen, I wish I didn't get it. This would, this would be done here if I wouldn't happen the other day. So you feel across there, this is flat. Uh, yeah, so like you said, that would be you'd be done if that isn't there. This section here would be done down here. See, like right here, I'm sort of trying to explain to you. See them lines? Yeah. If you was to paint that, I would have to stand on like a sore thumb. It's the circular motion that. Lines are from doing this. Yeah. Circular motions, remove the lines. And don't add any more lines to it. Not my first thing to do. I can tell you that. Have you heard me say that before? Yeah. This is not my favorite thing to do. Yeah. Thing. We only have one more coat in the hallway, and then two more coats up here, and then three coats up there. Well, in the perfect world, that would be correct. <laughs> You got some big seams in there to do. One thing about this here, the door case is going to cover a lot of, a lot of this. Now, another thing to keep in mind, when you texture of skin, I've seen people, I've painted homes that people have textured right up, up against the wall. That's the worst thing the world could ever do in the world alive. Because when you come to cut in to paint your walls, and if you got any of this ceiling texture hanging down on this wall, it makes it very difficult. I usually go in and if I see that, I scrape it out with a putty knife before I paint because if you can't, from a distance, it looks like your, your cut line is not good. Because you're getting that texture from the ceiling with your wall paint, you know. So I, I try to stay a good, I don't know, half inch to an inch away from the wall when I touch the ceiling. Thank you.